Good day, everyone. Wherever you may be, I hope you're all doing well. Here I am again. I am Teacher Bell, and I'd like to welcome you to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. Today, we will talk about finding the selling price, profit percent, and also the loss percent given the cost price. This is still related to our previous video about percentage, so if you want to check that out, I will leave a link at the end screen and in the description box below. So stick around and let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about selling price. What do you mean by selling price? Suppose you want to buy a shirt, for example, with a tag price of, let's say, $10. So you'll have to pay the exact amount of $10. We can say that selling price is actually the price which something sells. In some cases, an item is sold at a certain discount. For instance, a luggage that says $100 at 15% discount, this means that you don't have to pay $100, but instead, you'll only pay $85. In other words, selling price is the amount the customers paid for. But how do you determine the selling price of discounted items or with certain profit or loss. This is what we're going to find out today. How do you differentiate profit from loss? Here is an example. If the cost price of a cell phone is $100 and you sold it back with the same amount of 100, this means there's no profit and no loss. Notice that the fraction is 100 over 100, which is the same as 100%, which means that if you sell an item at 100% of its cost price, you'll have no profit and no loss. In other words, selling at a profit means selling it more than the cost price. So, at 15% profit means adding 15%, so instead of 100, it is now 115. What about if instead of profit, there is a loss of 15%? As what we said earlier, if a product costs $100, selling it for the same amount, you'll have no profit nor loss. So if there is a loss of certain percentage, for example, 15% loss, we simply subtract 15 from 100, making it 85. To sum up, we could say our basis is 100 because percentage is out of 100. So if it says Profit, all you have to do is add whatever is the given profit percent. And if it says, for example, 15%, so you just simply add 15. If it says like 5%, so plus 5, as easy as that. And if there is a loss instead of profit, just subtract from 100. So, for example, 15% loss means 100 minus 15. If it says like 8% loss, then 100 minus 8. Just like that. So in short, the number below remain constant as 100. And only the number above can be changed depending on profit or loss. So for profit, just add to 100. And for loss, minus from 100. To find the selling price, just simply multiply this to the cost price of the item. To clearly understand how to find the selling price, let's try to answer a simple word problem. Here it is. The cost price of a television is $150. When it was sold, there is a profit of 10%. How much was the selling price? So here it is. There are many different ways to find the selling price. But let's try this one first. Let's identify the facts in the given problem. Cost price is 150 and sold at a profit of 10%. To find the selling price, we have to find the cost price, which is 150 multiplied by the profit of 10%. So from 100 plus 10, that makes 110 over 100. We can make our number much smaller. 
we can cancel the two zeros above and the two zeros below. Now we only need to multiply 15 times 11, which gives us 165. Therefore, our selling price is $165. So it means, you see, if you bought a television for $150, Selling it at $165 would give you 10% profit. Let's try another method for the same problem. So the cost price is $150 at 10% profit. To solve for the selling price, we can first find how much is the profit of 10%. Find out what is 10% of 150 since percent is over 100 so 10 percent can be expressed as 10 over 100 the word off means multiply or times 150. obviously we can make the numbers much smaller so we can cancel the two zeros above and the other two zeros below now we have 1 times 15 which is only 15. To find the selling price, we simply just add the cost price, which is 150, plus the 10% of this number, which is 15. So we can have the same answer of 165. You can actually use any method which you think is much easier for you. Here is another problem, but this time, instead of profit, find the selling price with a certain loss percentage. See this example. Brad bought a phone for $200. He sold it at a loss of 5%. How much was his selling price? So identify the facts given in the problem. Cost price is $200, sold at 5% loss. To find the selling price, we take the cost price, which is 200, multiply by 5% loss, which means subtract 5 from 100. This will give us 95 over 100. We can simplify this number by canceling the two zeros above. Do the same with the two zeros below. Now we have 2 times 95, which is 190. So for our selling price, our answer is $190. Let's try a different method of finding the selling price using the same problem. So with a cost price of $200 sold at 5% loss, we can find the selling price by finding how much is 5% of 200. And since percent is over 100, so 5% can be expressed as 5 over 100. The word off means multiply or times 200. We can make the numbers much smaller. We can cancel the two zeros above and the two zeros below. Now we have a much smaller number to work with, which is 5 times 2. And obviously this is 10. So to find the selling price, we simply just take the cost price, which is 200, minus 5% of this number, which is 10, the answer is 190. So we have the same answer as what we did in our previous method. So it's really up to you as to whatever method you prefer to use. What about if the selling price is already given and instead you need to find the profit percent or loss percent? So how are you going to do it? Say, for example, a fridge that cost you $250 and you sold it at $270. To find how much profit you made, simply take the selling price, which is $270, minus the cost price, which is $250. You gained $20 as your profit. So to find the profit percent, it is equals to the profit over the cost price times 100. In this example, your profit is 20 over the cost price, which is 250 times 100. We can still make this number much smaller. We can cancel one zero above, do the same with the other zero below. Now we have 2 times 100 over 25, 
or 200 divided by 25, which is 8. So the profit percent is 8%. Let's try solving this simple problem. Jane bought a handbag for $50 and sold it for $60. What profit did she earn? Calculate the profit percentage. To find the profit, take the selling price minus the cost price. The selling price is $60 minus the cost price, which is $50, so the profit is $10. To find the profit percentage, we have the profit over the cost price times 100. So profit percent equals 10 over 50 times 100. Cancel one zero above and do the same with the other zero below. Now we have 100 over 5 or 100 divided by 5, which is equals to 20. So the profit percent is 20%. How about loss percent? How do we calculate for loss percent? See this example. If a speaker that cost $75 and you sold it less than the amount you paid for, Instead of profit, you'll have loss. Let's say, for instance, you sold it at only $72. So to find the amount loss, you take the cost price minus the selling price. In this case, the cost price is $75 minus the selling price, which is $72. The loss incurred is $3. To find the loss percent is equals to the loss over the cost price times 100. So in this case, it's 3 as the loss over 75 as the cost price times 100. Or this is like 300 over 75. Just like saying uh, 300 divided by 75, which is 4. So the loss percent is 4%. Let's try solving this problem. Cedric bought a computer for $200 and sold it for $190. What was the loss he incurred? Calculate the loss percentage. To find the loss, take the cost price minus the selling price. So the cost price is $200 minus the selling price, which is $190. So the loss incurred is $10. To find the loss percentage, we take the loss incurred over the cost price times 100. So the loss percent, which is equals to 10 over 200 times 100. Cancel the two zeros above. Do the same with the two zeros below. So now we have 10 over 2 or 10 divided by 2, which is just 5. So the loss percent is 5%. So that's it. I hope by this time you have a clear idea on how to find the selling price, profit percent, and loss percent. And that would be all for this lesson. And if you find this video useful, hit the like button and share to people you know, for this may also be helpful for them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. Once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you again in our next lesson.